Welcome to another episode of Front Row. Joining with me is Mr. Shan Yahampat, advisor to the Minister of Labor and Foreign Employment. Shan, thank you very much for joining with Front Row. Thank you very much for having me. Let's just straight uh, jump to the point. Uh, why the employers should support the current labor code that you have been proposing? This has been in discussion and you are leading that labor reforms uh, for the Sri Lankan economy. Why do you think the employers should support this? I think not only employers, not everyone should support this uh, labor reforms that you're proposing. So some of the reasons are the labor law that we have is outdated, they're century old, complicated, very rigid. There are lots of duplications as well as discriminations. Um, so it's time to get everything right and make it less complicated and simple so that every entrepreneur and investor is able to deal with labor matters efficiently. If you are to spend a lot of time simply because your labor law is complicated, I don't think it is the right thing to do as far as your time is concerned. And also we need to promote entrepreneurship. We need to um, promote new enterprises. If you look at uh, from our population, only 3% um, you know, are there as entrepreneurs. At the same time, we need to bring about 15 billion US dollars per annum in terms of foreign direct investments. Uh, you know, we can promote efficiency seeking investors into the country. We know we have a good labor force um, in terms of their uh, literacy rate and whatnot. Uh, but our labor laws are partially contributing discouraging entrepreneurship as well as foreign direct investments and also you know since we have a social market economy uh, we are trying to be an export oriented digitalized economy uh, we need to encourage private sector organizations to create more jobs government can't create jobs so we have to create an inducive environment for entrepreneurs to create more jobs i think the new labor reforms that you're proposing are going to just do that support entrepreneurs, support private sector, support um, investors uh, to carry out what they do on a daily basis effectively and efficiently. So everyone should come together, support this piece of legislation that we are putting forward. On the other side, uh, why the employees uh, should support this? Because they have a concern that it may be on the job security or it may be on the work hours. What are the changes that's going to come into place? because they have been used to this, the, the existing one, which is 100 years old. That means they have been, you know, they have been practicing it for more than a century. Why they should support this as employees? Well, if you look at, uh, if you look at uh, Termination Act that we have at the moment, is a good piece of legislation, but implementation has been very poor. Even if you look at the number of cases that have been supported, all the benefits that uh, employees have been given, it's not significant. Even if you look at the number of cases that are recorded under this act within the last 10 years, it's discouraging. Uh, and, and also given the circumstances in, in the modern world of work, nothing is safe. Uh, so what we are proposing in the current uh, labor reforms is to have an unemployment insurance, which is contributory, uh, so that you know when you lose your job due to various reasons, it could be voluntarily or otherwise, you know, your income can be secured. That is the most important part. So government is trying to move away from a traditional mentality of protecting jobs at the cost of you know, employees, uh, employers and investors, uh, take the responsibility of being a protector of citizens and provide them with some sort of safety net uh, so that they can go and look for other jobs. And, and also government has to uh, focus more on upskilling and reskilling and invest more money in vocational training. Now they say, uh, skills are the new currency in in new world, uh, so we need to we need to encourage people to acquire new skills. Uh, you know, when government facilitates a conducive environment for businesses to thrive, there will be enough and more jobs for people to pick and choose. So they don't have to worry about losing jobs. Now we have this worry simply because we think there are no enough jobs. So government instead should create more jobs and create that environment for that entrepreneurs and investors can create more jobs. What are the three salient points which is coming out from this uh, labor reforms, if you were to highlight three things that people should keep an eye on? Number one, Dhanath, uh, female workforce participation has been discouraging. It has been between 30 to 35 within the last 10 to 15 years. We need to bring more women to work to be economically engaged. 
now women traditionally do a lot of work which are not economically uh, measured but we need uh, them to come to work and contribute so there are certain laws in terms of nighttime work restrictions overtime part time jobs doing two jobs uh, these things are not well defined in fact these are restricted to some extent as far as women are concerned so one of my major objectives of this reform is to bring more women to work uh, you know we, we say if we if we get this right we can bring additional 1 million women to work right away and also when we encourage more women to work uh, that would create another business for certain other people in terms of running day care centers because when women move away from traditional work you know someone should take the responsibility of taking care of your children that itself would open up new business avenue for certain women to run uh, operate day care centers that's number 2 and and under this um, social security mechanism that you're proposing where unemployment insurance is a part we are also trying to give uh, maternity benefits by the government so that uh, you know small companies especially can bring more women to work uh, you know when you have a female employee when she goes on maternity leave there's a productivity loss as well as a financial loss now if you are to be a small scale organization that is something that you can't manage so government has understood this so government also wants to bring more women to work so they are proposing to bear the cost of maternity leave maternity benefits by a government fund so that's the second one third one of course is the unemployment insurance which will be a part of a comprehensive social protection mechanism it is also to um, it, it, it will be contributory not that it is completely free of charge uh, so we are looking at the guidelines by um, international labor organization certain other countries as to how they have done it so there are certain countries that we are going to benchmark at the moment ilo is in the process of um, undertaking an actuarial study on our behalf uh, the uh, you know the findings will be available to us within next two months Uh, with that uh, we will put up a comprehensive um, social security mechanism as far as employments are concerned uh, that would definitely give a, a kind of a comfort uh, to people uh, at the time of job losses and also companies will be free to operate you know given certain circumstances they are free to restructure and right size the organizations as and when it is required i think those are some of salient features i can think of Sri Lankans love uh, holidays and and on the leave policy. So, in terms of holidays, what's the new labor code has taken as principle uh, on implementing uh, the holiday uh, policy for Sri Lanka? Well, that's a tricky question. Um, we are trying to rationalize the leave entitlement that is in place already. Uh, there are certain holidays that are given which we can't justify. Uh, but you know these holidays are sentimental to certain people certain groups especially uh, so i i don't think we should uh, create unnecessary issues at the moment given the fact that we have to push a very um, effective piece of legislation uh, but we are definitely looking at a system that can justify leave entitlement uh, so that it would be for the benefits of people as well as uh, companies that are running businesses thank you very much shan that's all uh, what we have for this episode on the front row stay tuned for the next one